Okay, with this machine here, we got actually the latest NVIDIA Tegra Pro CPU built in inside and also built and come with the 3G memory. And the most important thing is the highest resolution right now for 10 inch from ASUS, which is 2560 times 1600. So you can see the picture here to show with the high resolution. Uh, you can see the finest of the image. And because the battery is running low right now, so I couldn't show you the, the video. But with the machine here, I'm going to show you the output right now. On the bottom side here is the connector which connects the pad and docking together. And for the connector here, which we have the micro SD card, micro HDMI, and audio jack. And for the front panel here, we have the 1.2 meg camera built in, and also with the license. Okay, for the back here, we have 5 meg camera built in. And as you can see with our ID design here is the metallic design with our high standard ID design result and also the button here we got the power button and the volume key okay and in order to support the high resolution uh, we have 31 watts battery built-in, but we still keep the thickness as slim as possible, which is under 9 millimeter. And with the weight, for the pad itself, is under 600. Uh, what's the processor again? It's a Snapdragon, right? Uh, no. I'm oh, sorry. It's a Nvidia 4, T4. Okay. Yeah. And with the docking here, you can see we have the full function keyboard and with the touchpad built-in. Plus, we have USB 3.0 support and also SD card support which will actually extend your storage. And this is running Android 4.2. 4.2, yeah. And this connector here is actually our charging port. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when is it gonna come out? We expect that will be in Q3. Q3. Yeah, but the actually launch time will depend on its territory and how they just plan their market. So we expect that will be on the market in Q3. Any price points? Uh, right now we don't have really clear price for this machine because it's not actually set up the price range right now but definitely won't be more expensive than our last one. And can you talk about the battery capacity? Uh, battery capacity for the pad itself right now is our testing result is around 8 hours okay. but we are still trying really hard to see whether we can reach 9 hours or even more mm -hmm. and for the docking itself because the driver is not final yet so we haven't got the uh, testing result but we expect the pad plus docking together we expect there will be around 10 to 11 hours okay. So the battery capacity is what, uh, 3,000, 2,000 milliampers? Mm -hmm. Just the, just the tablet? No, it's 8180. 8, oh, yeah. 8, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, then. The so battery capacity is 8180. Including the... No, like just the tablet. The pad only. Yeah. Including the docking station. Uh, docking station, we are still just... We haven't decided how big the battery will be because we wanted to extend our battery life so that thing is still on the testing. Okay. Yeah, but right now we only know the test is a one Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome.